because it lines up with my faith. You see, I'm a believer first. I'm a believer who happens to say. I'm a believer first. I'm a believer who happens to say because it lines up with my faith. You see, I'm a believer first. I'm a believer who happens to say because it lines up with my faith. You see, hello, hello, hello. The other day, I went to go watch the sunset on the beach. I know it's a little cliche, um, but it was beautiful and it was what I really needed. And I was going through a, a bit of anxiety, which oftentimes stems from dwelling on the past or worrying about the future. And as I was on the beach writing my prayer out, I realized that my prayer was so future focused and so God can you do and when you take it when you and it was so absent of now so mid prayer I stopped and asked him to speak through me in the now and a poem was actually birthed in this moment that I want to read to you The sun is setting. If this be a glimpse of heaven, I will do what it takes. If this be a glimpse of heaven, I praise your holy name. If this be a glimpse of heaven, I'll bring you fame. If this be a glimpse of heaven, I won't waste another day there is still grace even if I have to face another heartbreak there is still peace even if my enemies are surrounding me there is still joy though there may be schemes that the enemy employs there is still you you are the stillness Peace, be still, and know that I am God. When I tell you, I was like, thank you, God. (laughs) I needed that. I needed to recognize him in the stillness. I needed to understand what it means to be still. Remember the passage of Jesus and the 12 disciples on the boat and a storm had broken out and Jesus decided to rest whereas the rest of them were panicking like Jesus you don't see the storm outside like you really you really chilling taking a nap right now like we are about to be taken over by these waves and he got up and said peace be still and they were shocked Even the winds obey him? Even the winds, do we obey him? That's that's the question that needs to be answered. But anyway, even the winds obey his word, obey his command. And sometimes we are that storm. It's nothing happening to us, but it's us just being anxious it's us moving around picking up and not like peace be still and know that he is God nothing slips through his fingers he is trustworthy he is faithful that's the beauty of keeping our eye on him and not on ourselves Because we are the unfaithful ones. We are the ones who fall short. We are the ones who get tired. We are the ones who sometimes don't meet the standard. But when we keep our eye on him, our faith in him, our trust in him, it's easier to be still because all power is in his hands. Even the winds obey him. He later revealed to me in Psalm 65, verse 8. 
So they who dwell at the ends of the earth stand in awe of your signs. You make the dawn and the sunset shout for joy. You make the dawn and the sunset shout for joy. It all belongs to him. You can trust him. You can trust him. Whatever it is that may be worrying you, causing you to be anxious, causing you to worry, take your eyes off of it, take your eyes off of the storm and call on Jesus. Place your eyes on him. We are believers first. Hold on to that belief. Hold on to that identity in him. Understand all that he is. When we look at the direction to be still and to know in the Amplified Bible, which I highly recommend. The Amplified version reads, be still and know, recognize, understand that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold, our refuge, our high tower. Y'all, get into it. (laughs) Oh my goodness. Like, when we recognize that our... I'm, I'm, I'm afraid to even call it power. Our capability is made powerful in him because power belongs to him. And he is at work within us. There is no need to worry. There is no need to act out in chaos or add to chaos. But call on him. Recognize him. Find him. Seek him. A lot of times that's where we struggle most. We don't seek him. We faith we look at the storm and we rather focus on the storm and then we wonder why we got so much anxiety. We wonder why we're in such worry. You can find him in this very moment. You don't have to wait to see him at the manifestation of your next blessing. You don't have to always look to the past and remember the last thing that he did. You can find him right now in the stillness. If you take the moment to be still and know, you can find him right now. Find him right now. 